forward to going home. Hmm. Looks like you could use this. <sighs> Thank you. <laughs> Sneaky. I didn't hear you go out last night. I didn't. Oh. Yeah. I thought... I couldn't sleep. Too excited. I remember my very first international press event. <laughs> Brooks bedroom. Yeah, I bet you're the toast of the town. Oh, yeah, it's a good feeling, isn't it? Yeah, I just wish it would last a little longer. Mrs. Forrester, Mr. Forrester, the bellman is on his way up for your luggage. Thank you, Henri. It's been a pleasure having you here, and we hope to see you again very soon. No, oh, thank you. It's been it's been great. But, Monsieur Dam, if there is anything we can do for your next visit to make it really special, just let us know, okay? Thank you. Hey, guys. Thank you. Bye. I don't know how we could top this. I'll definitely never forget it. <laughs> oh, you have no idea what you do to me. Oh, is that so? Because a second ago, you said I knew exactly what I was doing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did, didn't I? Mm -hmm. Have a good night, Doctor. You too. Hi there. Oh, welcome to Daisy. I know you're closing up. I just wanted to check the place out. And see yeah. what's up. Hey. Hey. You haven't seen the place since no. the big change, huh? No, I haven't. How are you? I'm, I'm good. <laughs> good. Lonnie, this is my husband's boss. As well as my ex-husband, oh. Nick Maroney. Hi nice there. to meet you. How you do? Oh, it's not too late to order. There's a fresh pot of Guatemala coffee. Would you? Oh, that sounds oh, perfect. That's my thank you, thank you. <laughs> so this is what Stephanie's been up to. Uh mm huh. -hmm. This is her good deed. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. And you're helping her save the world. Well, I come up here and I help as much as I can, as much as I feel like it. Especially as stressed out as I've been lately about Thomas. Hi, welcome aboard. Hey. We're all set up front. Great. It's hard to believe the trip's already over. <laughs> it's a quick trip, but I'm anxious to get home. Well, a pleasant one, I hope. Mm -hmm. I tell you what, as soon as we're close, I'll let you know. Great, thanks. You bet. Trying to freeze time? What? Well, this trip was a major turning point in your life. You should savor it. Yeah. Still trying to wrap my head around it. It was really magical. But now, it is time to go back to reality. <laughs> oh, come on, Marcus. You don't have to leave so soon. You know, you are something else, Evermore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, something. I'm pregnant. What? You're pregnant? Oops. But how is that? I mean, we, we use protection, like every time, always. So you shouldn't have anything to worry about. It's not mine. I'm not the... Well, pretty certain. But not totally certain. We use protection. Well, yeah. Don't, don't you always use protection? Yeah, I mean, there was one. Well, I knew you like a few times. Um, <clears throat> listen, Amber, um, 
I know you said this wasn't serious or anything like that, and that we can, you know, hang out and we can make out and have a good time. We're friends. With benefits. I know what I said. Right. <laughs> benefits. Remember you said Oliver asked you to leave. Now that's not No, why no, no. But you two. Mm -hmm. So he could be. Yeah. Does he know? No. You're the only person I've told. Uh, besides my mom. I mean, she found out by accident. She, she saw the test. She actually told me not to say anything right away that I should keep my options open. Right. Are we all right? Is she, she want to close up Lonnie here? You sure? Yeah. No, yeah, she's fine with that. She's got receipts to do. We can just sneak out whenever we want. So everyone that works here is homeless? Formerly homeless. Uh -huh. So Stephanie's giving out jobs and departments. Yes. Well, she's giving all the employees a cash advance so they can get a place to live that's close and they don't have to walk. <laughs> advance? Okay. That might be a little risky. Well, you know, I thought that, too, until I got to know some of the people here. Like, Lonnie, she really wants to work. She just needed a place to, to do it. And Stephanie wanted to give her that chance. You know, and I found that, that it's good for me, too. I, I have actually enjoyed giving back time and not just money. It really feels really good. Yeah. I mean, given everything that's going on in your life. Sorry. You're the one who did bring it up. I saw a press release that Brooke and Thomas are in Paris. Uh, well, hopefully they're on their way home right now. Nothing would make you happier, right? They should not be working together. I'm telling you, Nick, everybody thinks I'm overreacting, but I am not. I, this is just a recipe for disaster. Uh, this is just a mom wanting to protect herself. Yeah, yeah. I'm not a fanatic. So, Mom, what are you planning on doing about it? doing over there? Just starting the coming home party a little early. Oh, wedding marries? Yeah, why not? <clears throat> oh. Cheers. Cheers. Mm. Too strong? Spicy. Just like you like it. You're right, I do. I feel like we've gotten to know each other so well for this trip. It's, it's been amazing. We already knew each other pretty well, Thomas. <laughs> yeah, but it's different. Out of, out of the office, out of L.A., just the two of us. It's been nice. It's changed my life. Hey, what you said about this being a defining moment, you were right. This trip has brought everything into focus. It's called broadening your horizons. That's how it feels. Like... Everything that seemed impossible before, maybe it could happen. I hope it does. I hope all your dreams come true. Are you saying you might not have the baby? You're thinking of giving it up? No. You're keeping it. I don't... I shouldn't have even said anything to you. No, I'm, I'm glad you did. I just, just had to tell someone. It's just... It's kind of been eating me up inside. You've always been so sweet to me, and you never judge me. <laughs> and I'm not judging you now. Amber, I'm just a friend asking questions. And I don't have answers. You don't have any idea who the father is, do you? I bet you my last three bucks is not you. <laughs> Oliver? Possible. And what about the other guys? Guy. My bad. One guy. One night, and he doesn't even remember it. What do you mean? Um, supposedly he, like, hit his head or something. And according to him, it never even happened. Wait a minute. Now, Hope said something the other day about her boyfriend, Liam, getting a concussion. Liam? I thought that Hope and him broke up, but I heard they got back together. So whatever happened... Amber, 
Amber Moore. What did you do? You don't think I'm crazy? I think you're a mother. It's understandable you'd have a problem with the taboo line. Well, this has much more to do with knowledge, you know, of just being a mother. I think it has a lot to do with your hundred-year-long issue with Brooke. It has more to do with my son's issues with Brooke. I don't know. The two of them get along just fine from what I've seen. <sighs> Sometimes my education in clinical psychology can put me at an extreme disadvantage for dealing with certain things. Hmm. Um, have you heard of this Oedipus complex? Oedipus? I mean, where the kid fell in love with the mother? It's a Greek tragedy. Yes, yes, but it's also a real psychological condition, mm -hmm. and it's very complicated. But the result of it is the problem. It can poison the family. When the father and the son are vying for the mother's attention and her affection, mm -hmm. it can put them at odds. It makes them rivals. Okay, <clears throat> here's the difference. Brooke is not Thomas's mother. No, there was a point in Thomas's life when I was gone. And Brooke filled that role. Okay, Taylor, we're talking about a taboo line. It's promotion, acting. That's the way it starts, okay? Okay, listen, even if Thomas felt anything, it's his father's wife. Well, what's to stop him? Well, Brooke, for one. Did she stop him from kissing her on the stage, on the runway, in front of the entire world? Did she pull herself from the taboo campaign? Did she tell anyone, no, I'm not going to Paris? No, if anything, she's, she's encouraging him at every turn. And look at the rewards he's getting. He's getting money and he's getting fame. What is that telling him? What is that teaching him about life? I'm telling you, once this door has been opened, the longer this goes on, the more of a chance there is that Thomas is going to cross that threshold. You made sure RJ did all his homework? I'll bet. But I'll be there soon, so then you'll be able to go back to being good cop. I know. I'll miss you too. Okay, next time, you, me, Paris, alone. <laughs> I love you. See you soon. Your father wants to hear about our trip. really very proud of you, Thomas. As soon as we finished that press conference, the calls kept coming in. Everybody was very impressed. <sighs> sort of impressed myself. Well, you knew what to expect, right? I feel like I could do anything with you by my side. We're a pretty good team. <laughs> the press conference, it, we got into this rhythm. It was like you were inside my head. You knew exactly what I was thinking, exactly what I wanted to say. I was just following your lead. It was your moment. There's no one else I would rather have shared it with. You're the one who convinced my dad to even let me have the men's line. I'm a different person because of what you've done for me. I'm not sure about that. But I have seen a change in you, especially on this trip. Yeah? You've shown a little bit more maturity and confidence. Oh, gosh, sorry. You know, you know, those two things are really very, very attractive. I think the drink kind of hit me. Yeah, <laughs> I, feel like I can tell. I think I need to take a little shed eye. You don't mind, right? I mean, I, I'd like to keep talking, but I'm no. really sleepy. Go ahead, get some sleep. You should lie down, too. You're the one who didn't sleep last night. I got too much to think about. losing, you know, whether it's in L.A. or Paris, that feeling's going to stay with you for a long time. Sweet dreams. You and Liam? There's no me and Liam. But he's on the list, so he could be the father. But there's, there's a list. You don't, I, I don't, I don't, I don't want to talk about Liam. Was it that night at the party? 
when this happened? The party. You were there. I put you on a list. Yeah, uh, it was a crazy night, okay? I, I'm not very proud of my behavior. <sighs> no idea I'd end up pregnant. He doesn't know, does he? Completely oblivious. As far as, as he's concerned, we woke up in the same bed together and we never even slept together. Well, if you're pregnant, Amber, then I'm, that will kind of prove it. You know, just for, forget it. Forget, forget I said anything. Forget we even had this conversation, okay, Marcus? You have nothing to worry about. It's, it's not your kid. Oh, Amber. Amber, you're going to need somebody to talk to about this, okay? And what from Oliver's telling me, your mom may not be the best solution. <laughs> She's not. She's not. But I'm not laying this on you. No, I won't. I won't say anything. Like, Oliver's cool and all, but it's your call. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, for everything. I've been feeling really lonely a lot lately. No, you're not going to be alone much longer. No. I'm having a baby. Thomas's life is changing, and it's just happening a little too rapidly. Just relax, you know, he's, he's just a man coming into his own. Well, normally that would be a good thing, but this is happening way too fast. And when that happens, sometimes a person can get very unstable, you know, and, and they try to look for somebody that they can lean on to get through it. But think about this. Thomas is going through this whole new change in his life about becoming a, a fashion designer like his father. You know, he's trying to make his mark in the business, and he's trying to step out of his father's shadow. So when he starts to feel insecure, who is he going to turn to? The person closest to him, Brooke. And Brooke has a history of getting involved with inappropriate men. And I'm telling you, that is a recipe for disaster. 